Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So you'll be able to tell the difference between me on sake and me uh, sober. <laughs> I watched back some of the uh, actual uh, video from last night, and I'm like, oh my god. I was like, uh... <laughs> uh, But here we are. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the new turn from our good friend, Mr. Major Problem. Uh, he bloody well is a major problem. Uh, we'll see what, get us, well, what gets underway. I do wonder if he's going to use these supposed DDs. I don't know. It, it's interesting. I don't particularly trust it, considering the fact that it was previously identified as BBs included. Now, supposedly all DDs. He's definitely moving around. I think the issue is it's like, due to the fact that I've sort of uh, pinned myself into this corner, I probably should really have like a carrier group over here uh, to prevent the free movement. I think what I've done here is allowed him flexibility of movement, and I'm going to pay for that. Okay, so we do engage a destroyer over here. Uh, or at least the Satsuki is going to engage us. Ooh, not, um... Uh... Wow. Um, shoo, harder. Okay, four hits there, but that looked pretty rough. But we do see an escort, we do see two transports in there, so that's rather interesting. Um, so that looked to be, uh, a convoy there. Right, we are converging our assets over here as well. I'm hoping that um, as our forces withdraw, which they have already, which is good. At least I believe they have so far. I might not see them as of yet. But I'm hoping that we might be able to have him run into the combat patrol over here. We'll see. Okay, attacking over here. Seagull. Ported hit. Yeah, these landed barges seem to be intended to actually take um, the hits from our aircraft, which is not a bad idea. As I said, he's a great player, and we are... Well, I'm definitely learning a lot from his actions here. I'm really how to be tricky. And how to actually be rather... Slick. <laughs> hmm. Well, I do think it's right. I mean, it's a risk, obviously, so it's going to be a risk to get the land... Well, the invasion force underway. But I think the sooner we get it underway, the better, really. I don't want to give him the opportunity to allow the Yamatos to get back into the area, and I don't allow him to converge with surface action groups. So I think uh, the sooner we do it, the better, really. He knows it's coming, so he's going to be prepared uh, nonetheless. But we'll see. The good news is I can put the BBs into the landed forces, and at least they'll have a good deal of bombardment to help them out. But they are going in there over, over strengthened, really. So we'll see if that pays off. I'm hoping it will do, and it'll lead to a quick victory, or a relatively quick victory at Saipan, uh, due to overwhelming firepower, and then we'll roll him up towards Tinian and then Guam. Moving into the air operations here. Let's see what occurs. And the good news is that we have pulled out of Saipan. I had hoped that we would have pulled out the turn before, but it seems that you have to set the test force destination. I was very salty last night about that, but that was indeed exactly talking. But you can see here. It's just, it's just knowing how the game works, really. So far, we're not seeing much in the area. I'm not happy about losing the sequels. He's definitely got a combat air patrol. Right, we are seeing the ships over there. He might be heading towards... It's hard to say. Wow, look. Yeah, they withdraw. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The, the difference in numbers here. So what I've done here is, while he's still set up to naval attack, I brought them in close here to draw them in. So ideally, if this will work out, we'll be able to take some of these bombers out. Yeah, that's that's a lot of Hellcats. There we go. This feels quite therapeutic. Very therapeutic. Right, so he's defending over here at Guam. Now, we don't have that many Corsairs, but we are... Hmm, we might come out badly here, but we'll see. It's worth seeing where he's deploying his combat air patrol. We'll speed this up. Okay, so some light losses, but overall looks like we came out on top there. Yeah, not bad. So one was destroyed, two damage, which isn't too bad. 
Uh, we hit the runway a few times, but that's what we need to keep doing, really. So, he's also running combat patrol over here, then. That's interesting. So, I'll speed this up. Okay. Again, relatively light losses. There we go, hitting aircraft on the ground now. Supply dump hit. Round two. Okay, so we do suffer a liberator destroyed here as far as we can see. Uh, but you can see that we do shoot down a good number of his bombers. We also do hit some of his aircraft on the ground, which I think we need to keep on going like this. So we hit Tintinian over here. So you can see that he is using his combat air patrol. Interesting. Made it through there relatively well. There we go. Damaging more aircraft on the ground. So this is the way we carry on here. We are going to turn it uh, basically into just into an area where he can just not operate his aircraft. I mean, once we land at Saipan, he's going to have to evacuate the airfield or risk losing it. But look at that. Wow. That, that's really quite nice there. So not huge numbers, but still very nice. Uh, relatively low cost to us as well, which is good. So this is how we continue now. We're going to turn it against him. He can still operate from airfields out here, but I'm going to stop him from being able to operate with impunity in this area. Yeah, there's a lot of combat air patrol in the area. But at least we have shot down a good number of his own aircraft this time. Yeah, they're moving in here. The good news is I don't know if they could actually... They could probably get in here, but if we can move the landing assets out uh, before that, we'll be able to arrive at Saipan before he could do anything about it, ideally, and land at Saipan. I think this is what we're going to do. I expect him's going to send these assets down south. But this is what I wanted to do. Uh, stop him before he got within range to do what he wanted to do. Like, we don't care what he wants to do. We care only what we want to do. So, that was a better turn there. We do have many more destroyers as well now to actually pack out our forces. So, that's very nice. Just really ramp up the amount of AA over the area. I'll have some uh, destroyers act as pickets as well. And we'll just basically try and form a, a cordon around the area, really. As effectively as possible, to be honest. Okay. So, yeah, that was significantly better. And I think we've found a way to, uh, yeah, get out a chink in his armor there. He does have aircraft, but the thing is, if we can keep hitting them on the airfields... Uh, and if he's going to defend, then we're going better at high altitude and just... It's one of these. I think we could even just potentially go in at higher altitudes. And just let the bombers do uh, the work through defensive firepower. Right, yeah. Moving east, which is interesting. He could be moving towards like Pearl Harbor, perhaps. But, um... I do have aircraft over here. SPDs would be fine. Venturas as well. So that's interesting. He could be out here trying to hunt. I mean, obviously, that is something I would prefer not to be uh, found. But I could go particularly wide, or I could actually have them just remain at midway, but we'll see about that. I can get back to midway before that, but I don't think he... Now, there's no real way he'd have detection over there. He doesn't. Okay. Apparently, CV's there. I don't know if I believe that. Do you notice the aircraft numbers? Okay. So we'll take a look at the aircraft losses this time around then. So aircraft losses. Yep, you can see that he actually took some heavy, uh, r relatively heavy losses to his uh, combat air patrol today. Uh, 22 A675s, 13 G4M1s, 12 A6720s, 6 A6720s, Senbakus, uh, 4 B6N2 Jills. Now we lost three Liberators, but that's not terribly... That's not terrible, I suppose. We do have more of them. But that was actually a good day for us, really. Uh, we lost 9 aircraft to his 55, so that was actually a pretty favourable exchange rate today. I am quite happy with that. I want to see what it suggests that we've sunken so far. It suggests Taiho, Zukaku, Yunyo, Shioda, a number of other assets, but I don't know. I don't know if I've destroyed all of these actual carriers, but... Um, I think we hit a good number of them, so they're either potentially out of the action. We'll see. 
Right, there's the mine sweeping forces. There's the actual landing ships. Are they detected? Um... I'm going to assume that they are detected, considering the fact that it's all the other ships around that are detected as well. Thunderstorms over the area is actually very helpful right now. Oh, over it again. Yeah, so if we take a look over here then, we are going to go in. So we have North Carolina, Washington, New Jersey. Uh, I may just stick with the three BBs. We could potentially take losses getting in there, but at least we'll have the BBs to soak up fire. We are going to take losses, really, no matter what, but I think the sooner we get in there, the better. We do have plenty of LCIs, obviously the landing craft. Those guys aren't with rockets. Ah, uh, that's nice. AA's quite nice. Yeah. It's pretty significant amounts of AA in there, but that's due to the sheer size of the actual armada. Each of these EPA, uh, sorry, APAs actually have a... A pretty respectable amount of AA. Pretty respectable amount of AA. And they're not too uh, unmaneuverable as well. So we are going to land at Saipan. We're going to go for it. Then set to Absolute. Now. I may have these guys just hold off for a little while longer. Um. Uh, it's one of those, isn't it? Uh, do we want to land? I mean, I'd rather get... Well, I think what we'll do then is we'll hold off perhaps with this force. But then again, saying that, I do need to get the supply there. But I don't have any troops in here, so it's one of those of we'll see how the initial lands go. Hmm. It's a tough one. It is a tough one, actually. I could pull out the LCIs. And put more of these guys in, but we'll see. I mean, let's see, how much supply is on here? So I have 32,000 tons of supply here in total. So that's not an insignificant amount of supply. And I could also move the APDs into carry supply if needed or airlifted in. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is potentially just hold them in reserve. So they're going to follow Task Force uh, 39. Which is the actual headquarters. So they're going to remain on absolute. Yeah. Rocky Mount. Uh, I think what I'm going to do then is actually take the... Hmm. I don't know. I suppose for the in initial movement, we'll just keep them in here. And then what I could do is actually uh, have them sent back to Pagan. The thing is, they can make it to Pagan in a single night, so that's fine. So we'll move them in there. Remain on absolute. They'll give their headquarter benefit then, which is good, which is what we need. Yeah, plenty of carrier forces around here. So what I could do then is actually spread out the carriers somewhat. Uh, try and cordon the area off to a degree, really. But if I have the carriers in the same area, uh, we should be able to then have that combat air patrol bleed over anyway. It doesn't have as many in the way of aircraft now. It still has a number, but the good news is we'll be attacking the airfields as well. Right. A little bit lower on fuel, but I'm absolutely fine here. They're set to return to began anyway, so there's real, there's no real worry here. So what I'll do is I'll move over here. Right. Let's move these guys in over here then. Well, actually, what I'll do then is I'll cordon the area. Well, I'll say that there's a gunboat here. We are going to have plenty of destroyers over there, so I think what we'll do then is just um, just put some destroyer pickets on the outskirts. Possibly even like so, actually. 
have them linger around the area. Okay, cargo's gonna wait then. Okay. Move in there. What I'm going to do then is grab all their kingfishers, set them to reconnaissance. Have you fly at night? They're on naval attack, they shouldn't be on naval attack. Have I said that incorrectly? Connaissance, please. Okay. Constance in the daytime would probably be suicidal, so we'll have them fly again. There we go. It's not the greatest amount of bombardment, but it's just, I need to be wary of him, really. Once we get the troops ashore, then I can go ahead with the bombardment. I would have preferred to have landed uh, prior to bombardment, but yeah. Uh, we have to make sure that everybody is basically planning for Saipan as well, otherwise we will have some further slaughter. Right, Saipan, Saipan, Saipan. So, a lot of units do have pretty good, like the 4th Marine Division is looking good. 100% planning. Um, planning's a bit rough on some of the units, but at least every unit has some preparation for Saipan. Yeah, so at least that's something. All right, over six. There we go. I'm going to basically force him to choose what he goes for. Uh, the good news is we will have additional aircraft ready to... Possibly today, actually, depending. Might be today, indeed. Yeah, we were flying at uh, 20,000 feet. I am looking forward to having a second airfield. Give them some reserves so then they can switch out aircraft. Right, a couple of night fighters there. Right, there we go. I 
mean, I could move them all the, to Saipan again. I think, to be honest, having more there might be worthwhile. I don't know if he still has mines there, but I'm going to try and fill the area if I can. Okay, so 54 and 67 can merge together. There we go. Just give him targets to uh, go for as well. Right, just trying to set up an area around it. Yeah, so he's got assets over there. What's the range from Neil Talk? Mm -hmm. Eight hexes, possibly within range of attack, to be honest. I'm quite surprised they didn't actually launch an attack. Get some reconnaissance over truck button. Okay. You're flying fifty three, you're flying fifty two, you're for you're by you're the lead. Um They're following six. I think what I do is actually have it patrol the area. It's all set to escort.
can set some sweeps up as well. Okay. So we are setting up uh, combat patrols. There will be combat patrol additional elements from over here too. Fatigue's very high, but once we deal with this, then we can rest them. Uh, we'll go with that then. So forecast is clear skies, and we're going to make it rain. But that worked out well. We did take casualties, but the thing is, he's going to have to be... He's going to have to decide what he wants to do here now. So I'm going to try to overwhelm him with air power. And once we secure... Well, once we get the troops ashore at Saipan, then we can definitely... Roll out from there, really. So I'd like to say a big thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to sending my assets back over here, but we'll see. Uh, so until next time, thank you, and... From the bloodiest day in the Pacific to your computer, I suppose you could say, or even tablet, or even mobile phone. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have, please do consider actually becoming a patron of the channel in 2020. It definitely helps the channel grow. And uh, don't worry, I don't just spend it on, like, uh, Swish. <laughs> it will be going towards prints and a previous channel, just basically buying new equipment and etc. As well as books. Books are always very handy to keep the learning process going. So thank you. And if I could ask you guys to like the, like the video, that'd be nice. Thank you, and goodbye. Terrible at these outros as per usual. So, some things never change, just like war. So yeah, here we go. Um, let's see. The rain down in Africa. <laughs> the rain. Is it the rains or the rain? The rains down in Africa, yeah. There we go, we'll go with that one. Thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen. Hope to see you again in the future. Have a beautiful day and an even better evening. Goodbye for now.